Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about translating English sentences into logical expressions. So let me take the first example. Write the logical expression if the first statement is P, the user enters a valid password. The second statement is access is granted, means you can go ahead. The third is the user has paid the subscription fee so these are the three sentences uh, we are going to call them as statements we are going to call them as p q and r now we want to write the compound statement which is uh, meaning that if the user enters a valid password then access is granted and the user has paid the subscription fee so if you look at the statement, this is the if part and the remaining entire thing. So this is the if part. So I'm calling that if part as A and the remaining thing that is here, access is granted and the user has paid the subscription fee. This part is your statement B. So it is clearly giving you, if I write a solution, it is clearly meaning A implies b okay but what is a a is the user has entered a valid password so that is p implies what is statement b if you look at statement b carefully now the statement b is going to give you what statement b is access is granted and user has paid the subscription fee so b is nothing but what B is access is granted is Q and the user has paid the subscription fee and that is the statement R. So it is Q and R. So the answer to our question will be P implies Q and R. Let me take one more example on the same three statements. So propositions. So let me write the question as the user has paid the subscription fee but so there's a but i had told you that but uh, equivalent word for but in logic is and but does not enter a valid password so the answer of this question will be the user has paid the subscription fee the user has paid the subscription fees r so r and and is but does not enter a valid password entering a valid password means p does not enter a valid password means that is what that is negation of p so this becomes the answer for the second part let's just go to the third example so the third example is access is granted whenever the user has paid the subscription fee and enters a valid password so here here whenever should be written as the spelling is wrong sorry it is whenever so okay so this is meaning that access is granted whenever the user has paid this and this so here this becomes your first statement let me call that statement a and let the remaining entire thing whatever the remaining thing is that remaining thing i'm going to call as b so basically it means a whenever b okay this is a whenever b now what is a whenever uh, b written as a whenever b can be written in the logical form as it can be written as b implies a okay if you remember your conditional statements you have written q whenever p q whenever p means what it is p implies q right so b uh, a whenever b means b implies a now what is b and what is a so b is nothing but the user has paid subscription fees and enters a valid password so b consists of two parts something and something 
implies a what is a a is nothing but access is granted access is granted is q so this is q let us write what is b b is saying user has paid the subscription p user has paid the subscription fee is r and enters a valid password enters a valid password is given by what it's given by p so the given logical form of this uh, of this question is of the statement is what r and r and p implies q let's go to the third, fourth one now the fourth one is access is denied if the user has not paid the subscription fee so this is looking like access is denied is looking like a and if the user is not has not paid the subscription fee this is looking like b so this is a if b now what is the logical form of a if b we know that, that q if p is the same as p implies q so this means that a if b can be written in the form of what b implies a okay and now what is b and what is a b is nothing but the user has not paid the subscription fee user has not paid the subscription fee will be negation of r implies access is denied access is denied means it is the opposite of access is granted so that will be negation of q so this will be the logical meaning of the about statement access is denied if the user has not paid the subscription fees okay so in this lecture we are going to discuss about uh, propositional equivalences and in propositional equivalences we are going to need two important definitions one is the definition of a tautology what is the meaning of a tautology tautology is nothing but a compound proposition which is always true so in the truth table the last column will come out to be what will become out to be t's all over and uh, the opposite of that which is called as contradiction in a contradiction what will happen the compound proposition will be false for all the values of the variables in the in the statement so that is called as a contradiction now for example uh, let us see uh, p suppose is a proposition and i want to ask what is p or negation p what is p and negation p is p or negation p a tautology is p or negation p a contradiction so let us try to answer now we have only one variable in our hands and therefore that when one variable p has only two values the two values is that p is true or p is false so p can be either true or p can be either false in that case what is negation p negation p will be false and for false this will become true now what is true or false true or false is always true and false or true is also always true so you observe that here the last column has turned out to be true so this means that p or negation p is uh, what is a definition is by definition it comes out to be what it comes out to be tautology let me see what is p and negation p so values of p is true and or it can be false accordingly the negation of p will be false and this will be true and the last column is p and negation p so p and negation p means true and false is always false and false and true is also false so this means the last column has turned out to be completely false and this is the meaning that by definition p and negation p is uh, is what is obviously a is obviously a contradiction okay the next uh, thing is we will see that what is meant by logically equivalent so i will take two compound propositions and i will and when should i say that they are equivalent to each other so compound propositions that have same truth values in all the possible cases are said to be logically equivalent statements it means that i will be given two statements i will calculate the truth value of both the statements and then i will match the last columns if the last columns are exactly the same suppose the last column is true false true false and the last column of the second table is also true false true false if they match this means that the two given compound propositions are what 
two given compound propositions are logically equivalent and we will denote them by this particular symbol p equivalent q which is the same thing to say that p if and only if q is a tautology this is another way to say that two statements are logically equivalent now we will see one simple example and see how to check logical equivalence so remember i will be using this symbol for saying the two statements are logically equivalent logically equivalent means they have same truth values in all possible cases let us go for one simple example show that negation p or q and negation p and negation q are logically equivalent so let me just calculate what is uh, what is the first table i will i will be using p then i am using q i will write here p or q and last column will be negation of p and q the second statement is negation p negation q so i will write here negation p and negation q so these colored columns must come up to be what the colored columns values must come up to be the same so in that case i will say if they come to be same then i will say that these two statements are what these two statements are logically equivalent so i will write true 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 false false true and false false okay so what is p or q it is true everywhere except false for both the false so it is true 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 false here the negation will be true will become false so false false and false becomes true okay this is how you calculate the negation what is negation p and negation q look at p and write the negation of p it is true true false false so now i will write it as false false true true and the negation of q i will write in the next column then the, the values of q are true false true false so i will write here false true false true and now i will take the and of them uh, we know that mm, it both if both are true only then it is true otherwise it is false so you can see that it is false if false is false false true is also false true false is also false and true true is true so now i from this first colored column and sec and the second colored column now we see that these two columns are exactly matching this means that this statement and this statement are logically what they are logically equivalent so i will say this column a and this is column b so column a matches with column b so this means that negation of p and p or q is equivalent to negation p and negation q that is they are logically equivalent so this is how we have to show two prop two compound propositions are equivalent propositions